We are learning more details about what happened hours before two devastating fires in Winooski last week. After an arrest was announced yesterday, a Burlington woman has come forward. She told us about a break in to her apartment the night before the fire. ABC 22's Isabel Shoneman live in the newsroom with how these stories here are connected. Lauren, a threat to her family's safety. That's how Crystal Walsh Kimball recalls the night of January 15th when she says her apartment building was broken into. Now you may remember Patrick Ibbotson was arrested by Winooski police for setting a fire last week. But how are these two factors related? Walsh Kimball says Ibbotson was the man she found in her basement. A home break in quickly turning dangerous. He was lighting things on fire in my basement. Crystal Walsh Kimball is describing the early morning hours at her North Winooski Avenue apartment in Burlington a week ago. We were doing laundry and we heard the door front door open and we noticed feet coming down the stairs and we had no idea it was him until he came around the corner and we yelled at him to get out and that we asked him how he got in the house and he said he carted the door. Walsh Kimball says she was taken aback by the man's behavior, telling him, You need to leave. Um, we're going to, to, I'm putting my kids to bed. You need to get out. Walsh Kimball says her husband ended up throwing the intruder out. She says it's not the first time he's broken in and also says it's the same man accused of setting a fire in Winooski last week. My house could have been the Winooski situation, but it, it, thank God it wasn't. 37-year-old Patrick Ibbotson of Burlington faces several charges, including reckless endangerment, but is not charged with the break-in. Walsh Kimball says she called Burlington police, but she tells me officers never showed. The police said that it was a landlord issue, that I needed to get a hold of the landlord to have him trespassed. But I'm in the process of moving. I have gotten to the point where I don't feel safe living on this side of town. I reached out to the Burlington Police Department. A spokesperson acknowledged police took the call. Sarah Tim tells me, quote, by the time officers were free, Mr. Ibbotson had apparently left. Walsh Kimball tells me she remains frustrated by the situation and wishes more resources were available for people who need help. Burlington Police's public information officer Sarah Tim also explained a level two priority was placed on the call as she says no one's life was directly threatened. That's out of three priority levels. Live in the newsroom tonight, Isabel Shoneman, ABC 22 News.